All right, we are live, and we got to talk about these shoes. The Fly Ease Go. Appropriate name because these are perfect for on the go. Look how you just bloop, comes right off. Bloop, comes right off. Some people are saying these shoes are for lazy people. Um, I think it's cool technology, to be honest with you, and it's great for people you know that may have a handicap issue. This is how it started with the Roshi Run. They figured this out. And then they put this together. Um, man, I think it's cool technology. I think we may see more of this in the future. I don't know how, as I said, you know, for people that are disabled, uh, this is going to be amazing. So that's my thought. Um, and uh, this is one of the colorways. We have another colorway here. And we are live, by the way. We are live. I'm just going full screen so you can actually see the shoe. And that's the third colorway, the black one. I think that one will be very popular um but yeah man let me know how you feel about this shoe let's go into the comments sean what's up chaotic kicks what's up sean says they look like sketchers they look like sketchers to Sean. oh so there's a restock going on i, I have in the title click immediately click asap if you're looking for the air jordan 9 the university gold air jordan 9 they did restock it i have it linked in the description box below so if you want these shoes Look in the description box. There should be a link to finish line and foot action. I mean, it's it'll save you time if you just go in the description and it's linked there. So go ahead, get your pair before they sell out. Be fast. If you want them, you better be fast if you want them because you've seen how fast these things sold out last time. I mean, it was crazy how fast they sold out. Um, so definitely, if you want them, get on it right now. Um, I'll also throw a link in the chat. I'll be nice. I'll throw it in the chat too to make it like make life easy for you. And hit that thumbs up button. Show that love and support for the channel. This is live TV. We are live right here. Free TV. And um, let's um check out this shoe once again. Let's check it out once again with um with me. So you could actually see me and my whole thought of it. So um there we go. And um uh, this video is courtesy of a press release from Nike. Thank you. Um, Got to give the credit. So you see you step on the back and then it just comes right off. And you can see that rub, there's that rubber band by the midsole that's keeping that thing from, you know, bend. It's keeping it from staying together. And they started with a Roshi as a, you know, prototype to figure out the technology. They use like tubing <laughs> and, and, and they cut the Roshi in half. I think the guy's name was Tim, the designer. I'm pretty sure his name was Tim. Um, but you see how the technology is, and you see how it just opens like that. Um, I think they're, I think they're cool. I think they're cool. Um, the right colorway, and um, I think we may have something. And um, it's interesting how they use the Roshi run to figure out how to make it happen. Because if you think about it, wasn't the Roshi run that on-the-go shoe? That sneaker on-the-go we always went with was the Roshi run. When the Roshi run first came out, Tell me that wasn't the on-the-go sneaker. I love them because they were cheap. You get a lot of colorways. You get fresh to death with them. They had camo colorways, all these reds. and they, There was a little hype at one point with Roshi Runs many years ago. If you're new to the sneaker game, you just walked in here a year ago, you're not going to know about that, that life with that. But um, if you've been around for a while, then you remember the Roshi Run, That there was hype. People were reselling Roshi runs, no lie. They were reselling them. Uh, yo, Sons of Anarchy, what's up, man? Says the nine is one of the most durable shoes, last forever. Yes, I agree with you, coach. Says sold out. <sighs> Try foot action. There's a link to foot action also. I remember the Jordan 5 mocks. But this is the next level. This is the first Nike shoe where you could actually not use your hands. You know, they have the fly ease where... They, you have one person, you could use one, one hand, I mean, but this is no hands. Look, my no hands, bam. So you can just leave these things by your front door. You need to go take the garbage out, slip on, slip off. Um, I think it's a good idea. I think, it, I think these are cool. Um, not the best looking sneaker, but once again, this, it's this colorway. I mean, the colorway isn't that effing great, right? Um, do you guys like this colorway? Let me know how you feel about this this particular colorway right here. This yellow one with the white and the kind of like a peach 
with a little purple. Y'all like this colorway? I think this is a better colorway. This one right here is a better colorway. I think definitely. Um, and then the black pair is so easy to rock. Um, I do not know what the price point is, unfortunately. If you know the price point, let me know in the comments and in the in the chat. Um, Josh says straight up, these are trash. Um, Roshi's pumped right before NMDs and Boost took over the market. You're right. You're right. Nice ideas can change the game. And, and it's possible that this could possibly change the game for footwear, you know? Um, it could. I mean, you can't deny it. What? What's? You don't think they're going to come out with another type of shoe like this eventually? I mean, but the thing is, it looks so simple, right? Like it looks like, like so simple. It's like a band. See that? That's how they figured it out with the Roshi. <laughs> they just attached like a tubing, like a rubber tubing. <laughs> they may went to like Home Depot and grab some tubing, and and they cut the effing Roshi. And bomb, but the idea—it's like—it's just crazy how someone's imagination could just run wild, and, and something that we look at right now, and you're like, ah, oh, you think about it—it's pretty simple. They just have two pieces and a band to hold it together, but you still have to have that idea, and that's a clever idea. Uh, so salute to everyone that worked on this shoe. They may, they may watch. It's a clever idea to me. Um, yeah, this coat that. That colorway with the purple and all that was real cool. Um, you know, I'm gonna share some personal with you too. When um, I was four years old, my mother had a stroke, and she was half paralyzed. You know, and um, she could she had a hard time walking. Um, she wore sneakers. We'd always have to tie her shoes because um, she wasn't able to do that. Of course, you know what I mean. Something like this, she could have been able to wear. My mother's no longer with us. Rest in peace. But um, there's so many people that are handicapped, and uh, this could help them, like, a lot. Uh, a lot, a lot. So that is a beautiful thing. That colorway's dope. I like that colorway. Um, I would wear that colorway, and, and that one definitely. I'd like to see. I wish it was red on the top of it. I think if you have the right color schemes, this could be a cool shoe. Um, but, I mean, it's not the best-looking pair of sneakers in the world, but... It's something unique and different. I, I got, it's called the Nike Fly Ease Go. Fly Ease Go. The Nike Fly Ease Go. Um, if you're just walking in, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, and if you're watching on the playback, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this shoe. Uh, as, as far as anything else with sneakers, we will cover one more thing um, that I think you're going to be really excited about. So we're going to check that out soon. Um, Coach says, great idea for healthcare workers. They don't have to touch their shoes. That's right, bro. For healthcare workers, too. That's a, that's a smart idea. That, dude, that's why I love these live streams, man, because I didn't even think about that. Love the live streams because of that. Shout out to Coach. You're with the kicks. And if anyone wants to show off some sneakers, we are live. Show some off. Put a link in the description. All you got to do is click that. Even if you got a new sneaker you're excited about, you want to show then um, definitely, let's get it popping. Probably very comfortable. Yeah, I mean, you know, as I said, this is a quick on-the-go shoe. Um, this is good for for people that are having a really busy life too, you know? I mean, the young guy, like the young 16-year-old, 15-year-old, I don't think they're really going to want this shoe. They may. They may think it's dope. Um, but, you know, that also depends. I mean, if, if you look. If we see Travis Scott or LeBron James wearing one of these damn sneakers, then you know it's gonna go, it's gonna fly up. You know, it's it's gonna go rocket style. You know, and shoot up to the moon, right? Aloha, my friend. Shout out to Charles. Says looks too technical. They um, if they're comfortable, I'll wear them to work. In. Yeah. Let's uh, go look at that video one more time. What does he say? Secured the Jordan 1 Chinese New Year's in 11 and a half. Nice. That's what's up. So let, we'll, we'll show you the video um, close up one more time so we can see that. And guys, hit that thumbs up button. That's all I ask of you. And we're going to cover um, some new Nike stuff that just got put on the app. We're going to cover that in just a second. So hang out um, and let's get into it. So as you can see right here how... 
It just you just pop your feet right on there, man. And the thing that's crazy, it really looks like the rubber band is the key to the magic of it happening. You see that band they put? They put like a little tubing thing while they were figuring the idea out. So there's probably a little bit of a connection, um, of course, you know, on the shoe, on both pieces where it can turn and everything like that. But um, the rubber band holds it all into place. It's crazy. It seems like kind of simple, the idea, but it's it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Um, and you know they're going to work right because they're not going to put the thing out unless it, it works right. I know some of you may be laughing because I bought the the BB Adapts and they didn't work. I got a bad pair. I had to return it and get a new pair. Uh, <laughs> but this doesn't carry no batteries or nothing like that. <laughs> One thing I wonder during time of wearing this, though, if you're constantly putting your foot on the back of the shoe, is that going to mess up the back of the shoe? You know, if you're applying pressure to the back of the shoe when you're putting the shoe on, is that going to mess up the sneaker? That's something to think about. Look, because think, ah, oh, shit, I got to bring it back. Hold on. Let me bring it back. Because look, you put them on, right? We got to see when they take them off. If you're constantly doing that, right? Now think about that after doing it every day, three times a day, four times a day. Will that wear out? That's the question. And the only way we'll find out is when we hear about it later on, you know? That's when we'll find out everything. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to give you guys something different. As I said, um, uh, you know, this hits home a little bit for me I, I, because I, I, had, I did have someone really special in my life that was disabled and um this um is really cool to see this this technology right here um which i'm excited i may get a pair of these honestly I'm, i may depending on how much they cost i may get a pair of these just to see what's up with them um this this is the colorway i want though it's like a phoenix kind of so you got the purple and the the orange, I like that colorway. They they gotta whip up some some better colorways, you know. Nike, holla at me. Let me let me whip up a colorway for you. I'll cook something up real nice for you, real nice for you. Um, he says it will wear out, but what shoe doesn't wear out? Exactly, exactly. Um, I'm sure they have a lot of rubber back there to protect it so that it it does good. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Yeah, but they will be releasing in the United States that shoe. They will be releasing in the United States the the Jordan one. Charles just be securing his stuff early because he's not trying to uh, miss out. You know what I mean? Um, check him out. Um, what was it? Last Friday he was on live. It was crazy. It was a crazy stream. So um, we got these finally on sneakers app. They will release on 215 the freshwater Griffies. People have been wanting this shoe for forever, and we're finally getting it. And that will be on the 15th, 215. This will sell out so quickly. These old school kicks, people are going crazy for Griffies. People are going crazy for the pennies. People are going crazy for the Charles Barkley CB94s. I mean, I love it because this th this is my type of stuff right here. I love it. I love the new shoes, but this is what what's my cup of tea right here. Um, these will sell out very quickly. Um, he says they'll sell out this time, though. They didn't sell it like that. Yeah, they. But a lot has changed. So, so is so did the pennies. So did the um the penny threes and um even the air raid sat the air raid sat like crazy and they sold really well so all of these old school shoes look all these up tempos are selling like crazy oh that's coming i bet you that will be coming the momos i bet you that will be coming brother i really could see that coming in the future so um i wanted to show you guys the, uh, 
they didn't sat they didn't sit this time around the up temples maybe where you live nation but um not where we are also rest in peace to screech from saved by the bell passed away man i used to love saved by the bell when i was a kid i just seen the the news a little while ago that he passed away okay well a few pairs here and there scattered pairs definitely you know um let's see he says, hell no, nah. up temples always sell. It as I said, it depends where your location is. Everyone's location's different. You know, there's some people that are living in some cities where things are sitting all the time. Sometimes Jordans are even sitting. You would never believe it. You know what I mean? But some cities, the activity's not as crazy out there. You know what I mean? It's a little sometimes people live in places a little more slowed down. People, there's not as many like sneaker heads and all that craze isn't there. You know what I mean? Um, give me, excuse me. I got to just check on something really quickly. Give me 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Give me that. Boy, Young Jizzle, nigga, y'all know what it is, man. DJ Dells. Peace, man. What's up, y'all? This is Common, and right now you're checking out DJ Dells. Stay in tune with him, all right? DJ Dells, absolutely wonderful. What it do, what it does, the kid. It's the R.I.P. himself. Low so, case you ain't no so rockin' with DJ Dells. And with it, y'all, it's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout-out to my homeboy, DJ Dells. No question, Neighborhood Nip. Dells, Red, man, I'm in the building. Let's get it. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I just need to check something real quick. All right. Um, is nothing sitting in the East Coast? Yeah, basically. Um, even down South, I've, a lot of stuff is selling out, bro. Um, but yeah, man, this is going to sell it ex extremely fast. What's up, Mr. Jones? Extremely fast. So if you want them, do not sleep on them. They are um, classics. They are classics. And um, I hope we get the Cincinnati joints. I hope we get all of them, man. They, they're awesome sneakers. Awesome. And I love that um, people are putting some respect on some of these Nike classics uh, because, I mean, it was so weird how we would see shoes just sitting and sitting like around that th those times, 2010, 2011, 2012. We'd see a lot of these classics just sitting, even uh, with other brands. It would be strange to me. So these come out on the 15th. Mark that on your calendar. And um, good luck getting them. Because you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to need good luck getting them. I'm telling you that now. They will they will sell out so fast. Make sure to follow my Twitter at DJ Dells. Use it as a tool. Okay? This is to benefit you following my Twitter. Because I always post restocks. If you followed me on Twitter, you probably was able to get the University 9 restock today. Um, you know, it takes me a second to go live. But I, I always... Make sure my Twitter people, if I find out about a restock, I always post it. And, and we post on all types of restocks, even PlayStations and Xboxes. So don't be a fool. Follow the Twitter. And if you want to follow my Instagram, it's Real DJ Dells too. Don't forget, we got the t-shirts too. That's linked below. They're fire t-shirts. Check out the designs. Have you been buying new clothes? It's, it's 2021. Everyone buying sneakers. Buy yourself some new clothes. You deserve it, baby. You deserve it. You deserve it. That's my newest one, man. Designed by your boy, DJ Dells. Pick one up. Um, but yeah, man, this shoe is going to be some popping. Um, you definitely want to be on it, on it, on it. We did a video the other day on this pack, the um, Clot Air Jordan 35 and the 14. You have got to watch this video. Um, we get into super details on this shoe watch the video and it was a dope vid it's a stream but we focused on the shoe in the beginning it was so good you have to watch it you will not be disappointed so um are we buying these just a quick check-in are you buying these pass or cop leave it in the comments because i want to know is this a pass or a cop on the fresh water griffy ones let me know leave it in the comments and i'll throw it on the screen would I rock a pair of the Dada Spreewells? No, I would not. But I'd like to see a pair in hand. That'd be fun. I mean, if they sent me a pair, that would be fun. That would be dope. Facts, though, they selling out. 
yeah, they're definitely not making the same supply as last time. I like Griffey's with the full length air only. Okay. They got the ID Air Force ones with all types of clean materials. Dope. Cop. Pass. Too much stuff coming out. All right. Had them back in the days. Yes, me too, man. Me too, bro. Those Griffies are dope. Pass. But I'll double back on that. Okay. Agreed. Way too much coming out. Okay, so a lot of people are passing on it. Um, let's see. Not bad, not a bad looking shoe, just not on my wish list. Okay. A lot of passing. Okay, shit. They're gonna sell out regardless. But um, you know, my audience seems to not give a damn about these. I've seen like two, three people want them. And keep in mind, I'm no shoe salesman. Y'all don't like the shoe shit. Tell me I don't like the shoe. I can tell you the shoe is the greatest thing in the world. I don't, I want y'all to talk to me. This right here, you see what I'm pointing at? I'm pointing at my camera. That's mine. The chat is yours. Okay. So you speak your mind in the chat. I want you to speak your mind. Yeah, they're dope. Okay, let's see what else is on the menu. I want to go into details on this, this right here. Um I didn't even get a chance to see this. I think there's something cool going on with this right here. Valentine's Day shoe. I think there's like a patch that lifts up. Yeah, they'll probably show. I hope they show it. No, they don't. Come on, Nike. So on this pack, and I think there's an Air Force One also. You see where the tag is? Where the tag is up top on the tongue. There's like a little button, and you could open it up, and it says something. So that's kind of cool. Um, when is this releasing? 213. See, this is what I disagree with with Nike. When they do these, like, holiday releases or, you know, any kind of – I know some people don't consider Valentine's Day an actual holiday, but you guys know what I'm saying. Um, why wouldn't you release this, like, ASAP, like, tomorrow, where people can get it to wear on Valentine's Day, where I could buy this – for my girl to give on Valentine's Day. I'm not going to buy this on the 13th and then give a Valentine's Day sneaker to her on the 17th. Here, happy late Valentine's Day. I just got them in the mail. I am feel like a freaking Jamoke doing that. It's so stupid, Nike. What the hell y'all doing? I love you, Nike, but you guys be making some dumbass moves. Dumbass shoes. Moves, not shoes. Sometimes y'all make some dumb shoes, but but most of the time they're really fire. Um, <laughs> he says, I ain't lying. He says, Dells, who you fooling? You've been selling me shoes for five years. <laughs> yes, they did that to the Grinch. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? But the whole idea, I understand the madness behind it, Soldier Kicks, because they wanted to have the feeling of the Grinch if you didn't get the shoe, right? So if you didn't get the shoe, it was such a burner that it was like the it was like something the Grinch would do, right? I actually have them right here. I actually have them right here. Bomb. So like this is like some Grinch activity, right? Nike releases them on the twenty fourth, and then we can't get them until like you know we're not gonna be able to wear them for Christmas. Um, I wish they released these shoes earlier, but I understand. What they were doing, they play, they they have a fault with it, right? I mean, look, if you if you scored, it was an amazing feeling on the twenty fourth, but if you struck out, it made you think of the actual Grinch. To me, to me, I would have thought of the Grinch. Twenty fourth, the Grinch is in the house trying to ruin Christmas, and you ain't be you ain't able to get your pair. It was brilliant to me, as much as it sucked for so many. You know what I'm saying? It did suck for so many, right? He says, you ain't lying. <laughs> Salute to everyone that's been watching me for so long. <laughs> those are very nice. I posted those on my Twitter the other day. Those are really, really nice shoes. I'm going to repost them on my Twitter if you haven't seen them yet. Um, we're doing a giveaway, by the way, guys. We're going to be closing up this giveaway real soon. So you have a couple more days to enter. We're giving away three of these boxes. I'll show you them up close. Really quickly, they are the best boxes. 
better than the container store boxes because the container stores don't have that magnetic door. Watch this. I wanted to show you guys my new setup real quickly, a sneak peek. We finally got the boxes in, and um, you see it's got this magnetic to keep it shut, which I love. I love these doors. These doors are dope. Versus like the old ones, this like the old school ones, not as dope. This is the move right here. I have it linked in the description, Pumps and Kicks. That's the brand, and it's linked in the description. Way better. Yeah, so it's a really dope pair of ki um, really dope um, boxes. You can win them for free, all right? All you got to do is watch the video that's linked in the description box below. It will say giveaway video, front drop boxes, and it's a fire video. You see the conversion from what we had before with the shelving units. We took them out, and we have these displays now. All right, we have these displays here. And if anyone ever wants to do something, this super chat game we're playing now, it's eight going across, eight going down. So if anyone sends me a super chat, doesn't matter how much it is, you, you do the super chat, and in the super chat, you give me two numbers, one through eight going across, one through eight going down, and I'll show you the shoe that's in the box. So you would say eight and nine, eight and eight, not eight and nine. That wouldn't work. Eight and eight, or... um seven and and one you know and then i'll go and i'll grab the bot the sneaker so that's something new we're doing with the super chat if you're interested and it also works on the cash app and paypal if you want to do that um a fun new thing we're doing right um let's see what's going on in the chat right here dude the popcorn air force ones are fire those things are sick very nice shoes. Don Camillo, what's good, my friend? He says, so glad I caught my pair. Um, a little big, but I'll have to double sock it for the Mamba. Yeah, those are they're so good, man. Those sneakers. They I can't believe I was able to get them. Container store boxes are so dude, they're so overrated. Um, that snap, so many people's doors are breaking through that snap, and that sucks for so many, right? So you know, this one has the magnetic door, and um, you just got to be careful with the door. You don't want to, you know, it's like any door, you know. You keep slamming your effing front door, you see what's going to happen. You're going to start feeling some air drifting through that shit. I want to get me some boxes one day. You should, bro. And I have these boxes linked in the description box below. Um, Amazon link, so you feel comfortable. This is not, um, you know, something that... um. This is not something where it's going to the website and, you know, you, you go into Amazon to buy them. So you you should feel cozy buying them. Fotis, you ready? You coming through to show some kicks or what? I'll put the link if you want to show some sneakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they sell the doors separately. That That's the whole gimmick, right? It's a work, right? Unbelievable. We did a review on the Royal Rumble this morning. If you're into wrestling, make sure to check out my review on that. That's over at the Dell's show on YouTube. The Dell show on YouTube right there. So if you're into wrestling, make sure to check out the other channel. We usually go live in the morning. So definitely check out the Dell show on YouTube. And um, if you're walking in, please, once again, just hit that thumbs up button. It helps so much. If anyone wants to cam up, shoes up, there's a link in there. Um, come through. I really like the idea of the clear boxes, but I also like my sneaker boxes. Listen, if you didn't watch that video, which is the giveaway video, you're going to see it wasn't easy to do. But now I'm ready to throw away boxes, man. Unless it's something like something different and cool. Look, this box, I don't want to throw away this box. And it's a beat up box. But this box is, is sick to me. This Jordan 23 box i don't want to throw this one away because it's a cool looking box it's got like it's got all types of shit going on in it you know what i mean so like this box i'm not trying to throw away um and it comes with a cd also i just realized i forgot that it comes with an f and cd but um you know some boxes they can be thrown away like these this kobe box these are going to get thrown, this box again, thrown away. I don't give a crap about a, this. What's so special about this box? It's a black box and has branding on it. 
I'd rather have the sneaker sitting and, and being able to see it. You know what I mean? I'd rather have that. Take the box apart, flatten it out, and put it away. That's what I do. Yeah, well, that's what I did in that video. As I said, watch the giveaway video. It's linked in the description. It's a dope video. This video should have thousands of views. I don't know how it doesn't, but it should have thousands of views. It's crazy how my live stream gets more views than these damn things. Fatboy Kicks, what's up, dude? Salute to you. Um, once again, let me um get back to the meat and potatoes of this stream. So Nike announced this new shoe, hands-free sneaker. Um, it's called the Fly Ease Go. Let's go. So check it out here. Check this shoe out. You just bloomp, bloomp, and then you want to go. That's it. You don't got tight or nothing. Look, kick it right off. Kick it right off. I'm home. What's for dinner? You see, it is, it's as easy as that. Bloop, bloop. Got to go to the grocery store. Then you just, And they came from the Roshi Run. They cut the Roshi Run. Got like two being attached in, and, and that's how they got the idea for it. And as I was saying before, the Roshi Run was such a, like, a on-the-go sneaker so I think that was the perfect idea for them to figure it out. And that band that runs across is really where the technology sets in, where it looks like it's two pieces, but kind of attached. There's got to be some sort of lever or attachment um, to have it roll roll down like that. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I felt like this would be something cool to cover. Some people say it's it's lazy, but what is? why is it lazy? And um, this is great for people that are, have handicaps. You know what I mean? They may not be able to even put their shoes on. You know, this is this is amazing. I love this. Absolutely love this. I think this is so cool. It's cool how the the out the excuse me the insole pops up too with the shoe, right? Um, not a fan of this colorway. I mean, it's not horrible the colorway, but I like the other colorways better. And you'll see some other colorways in a second. Um, if you're just walking in once again, hit that thumbs up button. If you're watching on playback, I apologize, but I gotta. Remind people we're live right now and it, it helps to show. So this color is okay. Not not a big, big fan of this, but that one, that is a dope colorway. I think it's a dope colorway. And then there's one more colorway I'm about to show you with the black, little bit of blue beyond the tongue, and some red by the midsole. This, this is this is more of my speed right there. That right there. Um, so that's what I wanted to focus on today on today's show. On the sneaker attic. Wow, we have them in here. Okay. All right. Got Fotis in here. Mike is uh, muted. Yeah, what's up, Dels? What's up? You going to light it up? Uh, Yeah, I got some stuff ready. Uh, All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I know I was supposed to like come on like a couple of days ago, but. That's all right. I forget I you, got bro. busy. Yeah. I, I figured that we all we all got a lot going on, so yeah, I'm not tripping. All right, so not sure what the chat wants to see, but I'll take out a few things. Uh, hold on, hold on, my tray here. So, um, uh, I guess for starters, I'll show this, and uh, it's basically. You know, old box. Nice. And uh, just to give a little hint, you know, add my shirt to see if I could turn the camera on real quick. Just I'm not sure we could see my shirt. Yeah, it's kind of tricky how to turn. Oh, there we go. You got it. Oh, mm -hmm. sick. Yeah, so that's a. What 90, a freaking shirt. 97. Uh, Championship shirt. So Jesus. that's just a, a little hint to what the shoe is. I think I got that same shoe right behind me. I'm not even kidding. Oh no. Uh, so. Well, maybe. No, it's not. Yeah, but this did is. release in '97. Oh, look at this. This should be fun. It is the uh, OG taxi. Oh, take it out for you guys. Hey, can you turn the camera the, the other way, your phone the other way, so it's long screen? Oh, like that? Yeah, it should, yeah, there we go. Thank you. All right, cool. All right, so I'm just going to say Yeah, OG Taxis. 
still in excellent condition. Dude, those no, look amazing. No cracks. I had the OG taxis, but someone gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. I had oh, to really? give them up. <laughs> yeah. And they were immaculate. They looked like that. Yeah. I did wear them one time, but, I mean, I didn't really wear them. I just tried them on, you know? Well, the, o so. the OG-12s, they held up pretty good. If you When did you buy those? Uh, Like two years ago. Yeah. So they... Look what I got. I got one for oh, you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I showed these a couple of days ago. Oh, my God. I need I need the flu games. Yeah, yeah. So I got the OGs of these. But you see, mine isn't that good. Yeah. <laughs> mine got up. Uh, look at this. This is may make you sick. But this part of the OG game when you got OG sneakers. Look at that. Oh, man. It's got, Cracked. like, white crap, cracking. Yeah, like Jesus. Yeah, it's um, it's cracked over here with this white chalky stuff. It's probably mold, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's all right. Adds a little character, you know. Yeah, yeah. So as long as I don't touch it, then I'm gonna turn into a a, a villain or a superhero. Maybe I'll turn into a superhero. You know, a mutant. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> all right. So let me see what else. Uh, I'm an SB guy. Up, people. I'm an SB guy, so. Um, Chill town. So I can show you guys some. Yes. I nice. just recently got this. Yeah. Oh, give me a second. I think I'm on the yeah, I just recently picked these up. Woo. Tell that what tell them what that is, people that don't know. <laughs> yeah, so these are the tools, the OG secret tools that came out in 03. So, crazy suede is on a different level with this sneaker. You can Insane. see, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, and it's also one of the hardest to keep clean. So, oh yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure when I wear it, but I I wear it one day. You may need that crap protect when you wear it, man. Yeah, for sure. I got them linked in the description. That crep protect, man. I, you ever you ever see how that shit works? Look at this real quickly, man. The dude poured ketchup on the shoe after spraying it. It come right off. This is crazy. So you you may need to get a bottle of that. Because if this dude could do that to that shoe, you know a little dirt ain't gonna be nothing. Watch you pour some water on it, come right off. Yeah, so I got I that. I got that linked in the description if anyone needs it. Yeah, I've used like the cleaner before, but never like the actual like spray. To yeah, no, but you got that. The spray is for when you after you clean it, if you want. Oh, wear okay, them, okay. You know? the, but they have a cleaner okay. called the Cure, which it, it's appropriate being called the Cure. It will cure your shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are so dope, man. Yeah, I'll show some more OG shit. Hold on, give me a second. Yeah, I love Nike SB, but you know, with the with the hype going all crazy, it's kind of made me, you know, back off a bit, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you know, I always love Nike SB. So, oh, well, well wishes to Henry too, aka Lover Boy. We, we, we. Oh we yeah, think for sure, you. for sure. All right, so this is another silver box. Oh, I know. You got Jedi's in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see how fast I was with that one. <laughs> That's a, you know, I, I was talking to um, Tony D the other day and um, Troll Mageddon on Tony D's channel. We were talking about grails. Yeah. That, that's like a grail. I've always wanted that shoe. Yeah, I always shoe wanted crazy. that shoe. Good lord, that's hold on, hold on. That I gotta give you this for that one. Hold on, let me hit that, that button right there. It deserves Good it. Lord, that's awesome. Dude, those are so sick. Oh my god. When, how long ago did you I've seen a lot of pairs with those? the Oh, how long ago? Uh yeah. so I mean I obviously didn't get them at retail. But mm -hmm. I didn't pay that much for them. And I got these like about 
three years ago. Wow. Yeah, like three years ago. There's fakes on those shoes? Yeah, I have seen fakes of these, but they're really bad, so it's pretty easy to tell. Oh, okay, because I may just go crazy, man. I got to get those, bro. Yeah, There's like two shoes I really want. You may have the other one. I really want the Quest Love Air Force One. That was a shoe I always wanted. Oh, Quest, that's the like the green, uh, the elephant, elephant print. print wrap around yeah, the green yeah. and the, his logo on the ankle. Yeah, that shoe is crazy. That's a nice one. So crazy. But yeah, so. Uh, I knew you were going to light it up. Yo, Dirty, thank you for the super chat, bro. He says, glad you're doing better. Tell us, keep doing your thing. Thank you, bro. For real, I appreciate that, man. And you keep doing your thing, man. I've been trying to catch you all the time, man. Um, yo, the ultimate compliment. Got to bring them out. Dirty, bringing out ultimate tells. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good is Dirty showing love to the channel. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you, my man. Yeah, shout out, Dirty. What do we yeah. got here? So, oh, this was purchased. At, yeah, it was purchased at Fly Club. I didn't pay that. I paid okay. way less than that. But you can see right there. Mm, mm, mm. I guess I was with a, a skate shop was charging. Yeah. But it is one of my favorites. Oh. Tell them what they are. Tell them. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the True Reds or the BAM, like Bloody Bamps or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a whole bunch of different names. And it's basically like the reverse colorway of the Vamp, which is just wherever the red is that's where the black would be and wherever mm. the black is that's where the red would be so i i do have the pair it's somewhere right there but those are, are crazy fun. yeah i love these a lot so, so you some other silver box probably my favorite one of my favorite silver box yeah i'd say my favorite silver box so, so this was purchased from Germany. Mm. So, oh, I know. Why? Yeah, tags there look weird, but it is the bison. Jesus. And I, I've tried so hard to keep this shoe as clean as possible because it's just yeah. so beautiful. Unbelievable! Yeah, probably, you got a lot of those silver boxes, man. When your camera yeah. went up, <laughs> yeah, right there. Wow! <laughs> a lot of pink too. Pink is my favorite, also. But those yeah, are sick. Like, the suede on this is probably the best suede I've ever felt on a sneaker. So it's like super those are amazing, bro. Those are amazing. All right, so. I'll tell you guys, this was a pickup from last year, so I was super hyped to get this one. And uh, just by the box, you'll be able to tell like what it is. It didn't come with an original box, so mm -hmm. I have to like custom make one. But it is. The mm. thing. <laughs> oh my God! Let me take it out. Hold on. This guy, yo, this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's bringing out the, the Jedi's Bison's Supreme. This guy right here. <laughs> a little bit of a fall, but they're still beautiful. Oh my god. You're gonna make me cry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my second favorite uh SBO. Those are man. so sick. Those are so sick. Oh my god, I would wear those like I, I would have destroyed those. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll do something cool for you. Hold on. Oh my god, it's great. Give me a sec. 
So, just because I feel like it's appropriate every time I take out this shoe, I got to pull out this one also. So, oh, he about to stunt crazy. I feel it coming. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I say, like, if I own that, I would wear that. Because I, I can't help myself from wearing that damn Black Cement 3. It's like, it's yeah. such a dope <laughs> shoe to wear all the time. Yeah, it really is. So did you get that off the resale market, or did you get that? How did you get that shoe? Uh, the Supreme? Yeah. Yeah, so basically, uh, I saw like a listing from one of the resellers on Instagram. And um, I had, like, some dunks that I was willing to give up. And uh, I just hit him up, asked him if he wanted to trade, and he was with the trade. And I traded about four sneakers for this. So. Oh, that's the one we recently were talking about? Uh, um, you were, see. I said, did you sell all of your – I heard you sold a bunch of your dunks, and you're like, I bought – I sold a few, but it was four a dunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was just, like, a few that I've, like, mm -hmm. uh, just, like, traded away. I never, I only sold, like, about two of them, which was recently, uh, which I, I sold my Stussies and my Skater Dies. Oh. I had, yeah, I had my fun with them, so I just. Dude, I just Skater Dies. I yes. had those. I've done reviews on it from like you know back in the days. Yeah, I miss that shoe so much, but I it looked so bad. It got to the point where it was, it was, it was looking horrible. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that was like my first like really good dunk, like seven years ago when I got it. Mm -hmm. And then I, you know, I just had my fun with it, so I just decided to you know give it away. Yeah. And uh, yeah. All right, so hold on. Uh, well, I got a, I got a good one. This is one of my favorite high tops. Not a SB, but it's just a regular dunk. I've showed these a bunch on the live too. Mm -hmm. so, so this is old box. Mm. Nike box. This, this is from, I believe, Japan. Yeah, I think so. So. Joe Dizzle, what up, bro? Dude, I miss my skater guys. Yeah. Yo, I, I got to buy a pair of those freaking um Jedis, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so I, I got lucky and I won on sneakers, the like the recent release, but oh. I didn't like them. So I just gave them away for retail. And, what um, size do you wear? Oh, it's nine or nine and a half. Oh, you wear my size. Yeah. <laughs> so the next time a situation like that happens, you can think about me too. Okay, I'm a, I'm money. Re I got my money ready. All right, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when I compared them, like when the leather wasn't like, the same. Like I don't know. Like everything just wasn't like good to me. Like the like the mold of it, the height of the tongue, the piping that. This like version has that it's, shoe didn't have it for me. I don't know. It just it wasn't executed. Oh, I, like, it was, perfectly. you know that kind of piping, like even on like dunks, like um shit. I just had those dunks. Oh, like th these dunks. Like I know the rest piece is a little different, but you see how like this like thick. Oh yeah. Like, you know you know what I'm saying though. What like yeah, yeah. they don't do, they don't do this no more. You know what yeah, I mean? They, they like really that don't. double stitched kind of piping. They really like, don't. They don't, and you know, but they're giving they're giving us okay material, pretty good materials at times. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, at times, keyword. Yeah, but yeah, this is one of my favorite highs. Probably my favorite, favorite. My favorite, like high top dunk. Yeah, I love so. black and yellow, man. All right, so uh, let me see. Man, shout out to my dude coming through. I I was I was. Hoping to see you eventually. I knew you would come though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'll just pull it out just because you just did. So hold on. 
All right, so by the name, you can see it. Oh, you got the Dave uh, Stoke. Yeah. Yeah. Those I are try to keep them in, in the best condition I can. Yeah, I trashed mine. My toe box is so bad. It's just I have yeah. some stuff in there to try to keep it in shape. Yeah. I got I got these for a super steal, and I'm super happy. Got them like about four years ago or something like that. I got it for one fifty. Shit, I was super wow. lucky. Yeah, super lucky. You are lucky. <laughs> yeah, you know I, I was on it before you know all the hype and shit, but mm, it just sucks that. They're so expensive now. Nah, I know. All right, so this is also one of my favorites. Oh, the box. oh God. Yeah, the box. Dude, you're tell. killing me, bro. <laughs> box heads? Yeah. Hold on, give me a second. And some of y'all don't know what the hell that is, which is fine. But... Yo, I'm such a big fan of Metallica. Like, I, yeah, love... I was just about to say, shout out to Metallica. <laughs> like, I love Metallica, especially like the earlier work. And like, he did, they did so many cool t shirts. Like, all those metal t shirts you see. Most of them he did the artwork for, for people yeah. that don't understand what's so cool about him. But, I mean, I grew up on Metallica, so. And that yeah. was way better than, than the, the other one that released. Yeah, the two puts had two. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is, like, one of my favorites for sure. That shit the is colors. so gorgeous. The insole. Oh, the like, art like, is a God. And then isn't there art on the ankle, I think, too? He put like a little did he put something in the ankle on the on the lateral side? Is there something on oh, the yeah, ankle? Right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's funny. I'm actually uh might be getting this tatted on me. This little symbol. That's a, that's sick, dude. Yeah, so I just really love the shoe. I think that you got me the most jealous. <laughs> out of everyone that feels the shoes. <laughs> and I don't mean jealous in a, a bitch way, but I mean, no, yeah, I, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I'm like straight up, like, at a loss of words. You showed the Jedi, <laughs> you showed those. I'm like, God, damn. No cap yeah. no on everyone else, but damn, those are like, you know, I love Star Wars so much. Like, and uh, I, yes. love, I love Metallica. I've seen them live like five times. Jesus. Oh my god, I wish. Oh god. Uh hold on. I was gonna see him again last year during the pandemic. They canceled. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. Well, hopefully the concerts come back and you know everything will be like good and shit. So they, if you ever get a chance to see Metallic Live, it's, it's so good. It's worth every penny. Alright, so just because you said Star Wars, I'll show uh Gold Box. Oh Bubba Fats. Nice. And those weren't selling for shit back in the days. No, <laughs> no they like, weren't. Like you could find those for like on the retail on eBay back in the days. Yeah. I'm sure they're worth money now. But... Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I love the green and just like the red. And what what is that shoe running for right now? Do you know? This one, I'm not sure to be honest. I'm okay. not exactly sure. Yeah, but it has to be something ridiculous. Right. Yeah, I don't, you're like me. I don't know how much any of my sneakers are worth unless someone tells me recently, and then I'm like, oh wow. Yeah. I, 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 you know, everybody. Yeah. Has these. Fire. My Probably my favorite uh, uh, high top SB. Those look so good, man. I'm so happy I have a pair of those. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, I'm, like, you know, like, it's like when you look at them, when you pull them out of your, the box, like, don't you get that feeling? Like, man, I'm, I, I'm just so happy I have them. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> It's like the first time seeing them like all over again. It's always the first time seeing them. <laughs> it's like damn, it's like it's crazy. so unbelievable. It's such an unbelievable and you know what it is? It's so unbelievable that Nike would allow this to be released. You know what I exactly, mean? Exactly, exactly. 
Like it damn well looked like Bud. It got the hairs, yeah. like the <laughs> key hairs in it. I mean, it's like you it look like you can literally shave some off and light it up. You know, it's like <laughs> ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And though don't they come with purple laces too, right? Yeah, they do. I I unfortunately didn't get them with the original, but oh, I was okay. able to get I was able to get like some with like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. Those are, all, right. Those are uh, all right, so let me see. I have a bunch of other dunks, obviously, but I'll step. I mean, if you want to do a, if you want to come back and do a round two when you can get to the other part, you know, we could do that too, if you have time. Uh, yeah, I got time right now. I can show okay. like a few more things. Cool, uh, cool, cool. Know. Listen, right, I got so. as much time as you need, man. Right, so. You ain't gonna come out here and pull out Jedi dunks uh, <laughs> and all this shit, and and I and I'm gonna say, yo, I gotta go eat. Like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna sit in my chair, be a fan of sneakers, and be the sneaker addict I am, and enjoy this. And I hope you all are enjoying too. Thumbs up the video if you haven't yet. Show that love. But you gotta keep in mind that we all gotta come together, just like the stock market. You see Reddit, all these internet people, we all come together. <laughs> YouTube try to bury channels. They do that to me, man. You got to hit the thumbs up, and the, and the video performs well. Yeah, so for sure. the, the better the views, the more guests we get, too, man. Yep. All right, so this one is a special one also. A yeah, he's box. got an amazing collection. Silver box. <laughs> And these are all worn. I know they don't look worn. I just take really good care of them. Ah, uh, but these are awesome. On feet, yeah. these are like one of the best. How did you? Did you? Do you have or did you ever get your hands on the high of that? The high top? Nah, I don't like it. Um, uh, what didn't you like about it? just because it's a high or because the leather seemed pretty okay on those? Yeah, I I feel like when it comes to like. This coloring and just like how the shoe looks on the it high top, to... it, it didn't like hit for me like how it hits on the low top. I don't on know. On the wall, okay. I got what you're saying. I think yeah. that was like that a lot for um the De La Solo. Maybe that's why it didn't sell that well. Yeah, probably. I didn't mind those though. Both. Of them. But not like the OG. Yeah, the OG is like beautiful. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me see. What else? Oh shit! So um, you know DS kicks, obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I, I always pull these out on him because this is his favorite dunk. <laughs> so. Oh, what's that, Dinosaur Junior? Yeah, but it's a uh, it's a little different, you know. Oh, it's, it's a, a sample. That's yeah, a promo sample. So, I love these. It's crazy because when I bought them from the seller, he didn't know they were samples until I got them in hand and I saw the tags and I hit them up. And uh, for the price I got it for, pretty happy. So <laughs> I got pretty did lucky with this one. Did he flip or he was cool about it? No, nah, he was, you know, I, from like the message, because like, I didn't like see him in person. Mm -hmm. From like DMing him, he seemed like like ah damn, I missed a chance to have something really cool, but you know, Jeez. it's all good. I'll take care of them, and uh, they won't be leaving me. So they want to see, they want to see Joey. Um, Joey knows kicks Matt and Fotis um, with a sneaker battle tournament. <laughs> Maybe one of these. Days. <laughs> nah, Joey got some crazy shit. I can't yeah. fuck with Joey like that. Joey's I don't know Joey's about that. Is nasty. I think you guys are pretty even, bro. <laughs> All right, so stepping away. Even. Matt got stepping crazy. Away from the ducks. Stepping away you from the ducks. You can if you want. I don't. I'm enjoy. Do what you want. Oh man. There you go. I got them right. I got these right here with me too. That's crazy. Got them right here. <laughs> wow. Look at that. I was just showing these the other day. People were asking about the galaxy shoes. Oh, these are beautiful. 
Dude, those are so and, uh, flat on, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And then I feel like, you know, if you get the KDs, you know, oh, gotta get the Kobe. Ah, oh, the Kobe's. That's the one shoe I don't have from the pack. Oh, really? Yeah. I never oh, wow. got those. Yeah, these so are bad awesome. I didn't get those back then. Then, obviously, having the Kobe, LeBron being my favorite player. Big I Bang, to, baby. I have to have a big bang. Those are so sick. Yeah, these are so crazy. This is my favorite LeBron model. The nine, I love the, the nine. nine. Yeah, so recently I've been, I, I don't know why, just now I've decided to do it because LeBron has always been my favorite player. But I've been like trying to get more of his shoes now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been, you know, coming up on like some really good deals. So I just recently picked these up. So these are awesome. So, oh, the cannons, yeah. Yeah. Did you get those from um what's his name that's in um Henry's joint a lot? I forgot it who someone from Henry's um chat. Who is it? I forgot who it was. Someone from Henry's chat chat offered me those a lot. Oh uh I think it's OG. OG Kicks. Yeah, OG Kicks. Did you get those? Yeah, from he has a pair. No, no, I got these on eBay, but Oh, okay, I know he, he has a pair, a pair right? and he asked if I wanted them, but I said I already have a pair and they're in good condition. Yeah. So, right, so, so fire. Yeah. So this is just a little. Hopefully, I can get luck and get the retro coming out, but if I don't, I mean, I'll be fine. Because you know, I have. But the South so. Beach. Yeah. I'm. I'm playing the guessing game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty on it with the guessing game today. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun. All right. All right, so got those. Let me see. What else did I get? Oh yeah, I forgot I got these. These are just oh my god! When I saw these in person, I was like, holy shit! I knew they were nice, but in person they're way better. Oh, yeah. That shoe is so crazy. Yo, I bought those shoes. I was in a different town visiting my brother. I was in Albany, New York. And I went yeah. to this mall. And when I walked in, the manager recognized me from my YouTube videos. He says, DJ Dells, you came in at the right time. <laughs> he goes, we just opened the store and I just got this package of some New shoes that released a while ago for our grand opening. He goes, what size are you? I said, size nine. He brought them out. And I was like, Yo. holy <laughs> shit. And they were sold out. They were already all, all sold out. But you know how they keep stock for grand openings. Yeah. And I was like, just at the right place, the right time. And I just, like, dude, I was like, oh, I was so, that was like one of the, one, one time where Walking into a sneaker store and just being completely surprised and being like so happy to get that. Yeah, um, they crazy. look so freaking nice with those orange laces too, man. It's yeah. like they're crazy. So it's crazy to think one day those will come back out. Yeah, I know. That's that's the like, way like LeBron's line is going with the retros. I I definitely feel like LeBron shoes are gonna get super hyped up again. Yeah, like it will come out one day, one hundred percent. Uh, just a quick switch it. Show some. All right, some pink phones. Yeah. There you go. That was a very sort of after shoe when it first came out. Yeah. I remember people were going crazy for that. Nice. Yeah. One of my favorites. All right, so let's show these. It's funny. I, I do like the line. I, I like a whole, every single model, but the LeBron 9 is probably my favorite, but 
I just recently got these and kind of changing mind. I don't know, but um, I need to get more pairs of this model for sure. And that is the 10. So. Those are great. I yeah, have these, those. Yeah, these are so crazy. That leather on the tongue is ridiculous, too. Yeah, it, it really is. And you know which one I had? With, I, got, I got rid of those Scooby Doo joints because that was the EXT model. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I had those, man. Those were crazy, too. Yeah, that was like this shoe that set off the whole cork, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it was a real big deal when that one came out. It's crazy because if you think about it, LeBron's had like a couple shoes that like started like a whole like little like thing. Like mm -hmm. first with the South Beach, a whole bunch of South Beach colorways. Yeah. And the corks, then a whole bunch of cork colorways. You know? Look at Kobe Bryant, bro. People thought he was crazy when he was playing basketball in the low time Patriots. Yeah. <laughs> these guys, bro, like everyone's like Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. But yo, these guys have done a lot of historic shit with their with their shoes that's came out. It's just yeah. we don't we don't ever praise it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Well it doesn't get praised enough. I'm sure some of y'all do. Yeah. Uh, show these so quick. And Kobe had the high that high issue. Pretty sure he was the first to do that too. He went from the low all the way to the high. Photos be having us in suspense. It's pitch black. And then bang. Yeah. Right, hold on. I'm just trying to get the shoe. No I'm problem. Take out <laughs> big, big ass fucking box. <laughs> I got it. So. Box. All so, right. Carbon. Look at that. Sheesh. The tens are comfortable as hell. I did not know this. Oh, they are. And they're kind of easy to put on your feet because it got that little angle in the back. You just kind of put yeah. your foot in the angle and it just slides right in. Yeah. Right, remind look, me of the five a little bit. The Jordan five how it has that little angle in there, you know? Yeah. When yeah, you're putting you know. your shoe on. Yeah, these are awesome. Um, well, just because you mentioned it, I'll just show it. Nice. I wore those the other day. Yeah, these are awesome to on feet. Yep. Dude, I was looking forever for my pair, and then I couldn't find them for so long. And then once I um got all these these boxes now, and I started throwing away the cardboard boxes, I finally was able to find it. Now I have it where I can always wear it. Yeah. It's so hard. It's hard to find sneakers sometimes to wear. It's crazy with this shoe specifically. I actually won it from the goat raffle that they do every Black Friday. And oh, I was get able out of to, here! I was able to win it, uh, one hundred bucks. I only paid. Yeah, so, I got pretty. I got pretty lucky. So <laughs> I've never heard of anyone winning them damn goat things. Okay, at least we know someone yeah. has won it. Yeah. <laughs> and Let it me know in the chat if you won any of them Black Friday goat things on the app, or they give you tokens and you get to pick. And do yeah. all that stuff. I've never heard of no one that won that. Won that. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'll show sure. one more. Let me see. So should I show? Uh, probably not crazy. Oh, I forget. I I go throw back for. So this is an old Jordan box. And it is. Nice. Shit. Let me get full I love screen. I love this color. Hell yeah. This color's crazy. Every time I look at the shoe, it just gets me hyped up for the lightning fours. So, mm -hmm. so I'll I'll definitely pick up the fours and I'll I have to take a picture with both of these next to each other. Doc, I'm gonna be very nervous that day. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yo, I've been because, dreaming uh, for those fours for like <laughs> so long. I'm gonna be exactly. like a nervous wreck that day. I, I feel like they're. I mean, it's the lightning force, so I could be wrong. It's you know, it's lightning force. Those shits are crazy, but 
I just feel like they're gonna get treated like the cool grades, and like nobody's gonna like pay attention to them. I don't, I don't know, know, man. I hope you're right, man. I hope you're right, and yeah. I'm wrong because I think it's gonna be very difficult. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I hope you're right, bro. I really do, because. And the thing is, it's like this year is like, dude, I haven't been able to buy one sneaker yet this year. But there hasn't yeah. been that much that dropped that I really, really wanted. But what yeah. I tried to get, wasn't able to get. Let's see. Uh, I'll show this last one. So probably my favorite new battle. Oh, my goodness. Tell them about that, please. Yeah, so this uh, came out, I think, Black Friday 2013 or something like that. Yeah, it's uh, Ronnie Fog, Daytona's materials are like you. You have to get the shoe in order to like feel. Understand? Like, yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy. This leather smells insane. Like it's ridiculous. Well, Ronnie been using all types of shit, pig skin, and you yeah, can go yeah. It's it's crazy. Super sick. Hell yeah, dude. But yeah, that's uh, basically it for now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you ever want to come back, give us a round two. I know you got a lot more of them silver boxes. You oh, yeah, know. I, know sure. they're, I know they're high up, so. Yeah, I still got a few more there. Got one up <laughs> yeah. there. Oh, if yeah. you ever have to rearrange or something, oh, look at the Mark and Mindy's right there. <laughs> See the Mark yeah. and Mindy's <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I used to have those too, man. I I beat them to the ground, man. You're breaking my heart today. <laughs> nah, you, you don't know, have just... to skate or die. Oh, yeah, you traded those, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skate or die. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude! Thank you so much for coming by, man. Really? Yeah, yeah you got it. I love I love all the lives. I, I watch everybody, so I just love sneaker talk. You know. Nah, me too, bro. But I just I I want people to come through and show their sneaker collection. So thank nah, you. Nah, yeah, for sure. Now nah, you got it. All right, man. All right, so I'll be in the chat. Yes, sir. And yo, um, please, if you um ever feel like showing more, just DM me, bro. On my my Instagram. You follow my? Are you on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, I, I follow you on Instagram. Okay, please DM me. All right. All right, no problem. Because I see a bunch of other stuff that was up there. I'm like, come on, son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not showing none of my pink box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you got to get around too, Broski. <laughs> uh, All right, man. That. All right. Thank you. Peace out. Man, that was so crazy. Those Jedis. How much are Jedis going for right now? <clears throat> I know I'm going to be sick when I look, but. Let's see. God. You can't do that. <laughs> size nine, two grand for a size nine, two grand. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. They got used. Used and abused. Thousand bucks. Seven forty-nine. Let's see what these look like. Let's see what, what this kind of yeah, those things are cooked. If I'm gonna spend seven forty nine. I'm gonna drop a, a thousand and get a new pair. Straight up. I need to just sell like a bunch of my sneakers and just get these. Crazy. I've always wanted those. Let's see how much skater dies cost. Not as much. They don't even have. Oh, they got a nine and a half. I 
I can't believe I used to have these. And when I had these, like, I just wore them like crazy. There was no sweat with it. Never thought they'd be worth so much. Joe says, I want to see the stuff he didn't show. Yeah, you and me both, man. You and me both. I'm like, damn, dude. <sighs> Y'all want me to show some sneakers? We got 50 people in the room. How we doing on thumbs ups? Let me see how the thumbs ups are doing. Hit the thumbs up button if you want to see some sneakers. I'll show a few. No, no, I don't want to hear that. Come on, let's get the thumbs up up a little bit more, guys. Let's get that thumbs up up a little more. I'll show y'all some junks. I showed you these already. Bung, bung. I showed you these already. Bong. Bong. Resin dunks. I got a lot of dunks in my storage. I need to. Maybe I should do a stream from my storage. That'd be crazy. I don't think the internet works very good over there, though. So. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberties. These are crazy. Uh, you guys seen these already. See, these are the highs. We were talking about these earlier. I personally like the highs better. I'm more of a high, dunk high kind of guy. I like the dunk high better. But, um, you know, a lot of people like the lows better than the highs, too. Like the Tiffany high, I like better than the low. I know it's not a popular opinion. I think I got a pair. Yeah, I got dunks here. I got these joints. We call these the Biggie Smalls, Cool G sweaters now. We don't call them the Huxtables no more for obvious reasons. Sick pair of kicks. Thumbs up this video if you want to see more shoes. Oh, God. Just had an avalanche happen. Salmons. the salmons got the salmon toe these are pretty dope salmon skin do you see Ooh, it was dropped it dr dooms Rest in peace to MF Dooms. Rest in peace to MF Doom. Love these. One of my favorite dunks. So glad I have them. I've had, I've had those dunks for a very long time. It's, it's been a very long time. They're probably like eight years old. They're very old. 
Yes, sir, bro. Thank you. Let's see. These are cool. These are the Dunk 6.0s. You won't see these a lot. A lot of, you know, faux this. Some people may have these, but you won't see a lot of people with the 6.0 Dunk. So this is the 6.0. This was the um, DeLorean. See, it has the DMC on the back. Um, which you don't see a lot with the brake pad, the brake lights, excuse me, brake pad. Hello. <laughs> so, there you go. Show you a few dunks. I had someone complain. Why don't you ever show shoes when you have guests on show sneakers, you know? Well, this ended up being a pretty awesome show, I must say, right? I hope so. Um, let's see. I'm curious to see how much those cost. Let's see. Nike Dunk 6.0. Valerian. Oh, they're not that much. They're not cheap. Oh no, they are. <laughs> like, oh no, they are. Sixteen hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars. Size twelve for six seventy. No box. Okay, so yeah, they are they are pretty effing expensive. See, I don't know how much my shoes are worth. Like, I have no effing clue. How much does Skunk Dunks cost? I have no effing clue. I don't buy. I don't own the shoes as like an investment. Whoa, that much money? Holy shit. My God, $4,000 for a size nine? What the hell? $4,000? a lot of effing money. That is crazy. Yes, I do. He says, whoop that a <laughs> getting louder. Play me that jingle. <laughs> Felix, shout out to Felix. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. The ultimate compliment brings ultimate Dells. Felix, let's effing go. What's good? What's good is Felix. Thank you so much for the dono. Appreciate you, my friend. I'll show you these dunks. I, you know, these are fairly new. These were cool. This thing though is so sloppy on the back. Like you're gonna like I don't know about this. I'm thinking about literally just cutting them short. I know they did it so you could customize it. I'm not dogging the design. I don't want to come off the wrong way. I, I think these are really sick, these dunks. But um, I got to do something with these, I think. I think I do. I like people that got sneaker collections that are, like, they have vast collections with different brands. You know what I mean? Um, I know a lot of y'all just like one brand or two brands, and that's it. Um, but, um, I, I have so many different, like, I've got Adidas, like, like, look at this shoe right here. Felix, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Like, like these shoes. D-Rose. I love this shoe. This is the D-Rose, um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So you see, you got that in the back, but he's repping where he's at. And then it's got the colors from the hat. You know, I like people that got collections, like sneaker collections. You know, there's two, look, I never even thought of it like this. There's sneaker collections and a sneaker collection 
is like what I expect is a lot of different brands. Or you're a, a, a Nike basketball collector, an Air Jordan collector, a dunk collector. It's whatever you like at the end of the day. It's whatever you like at the end of the day. You know, I got vans. These vans are only 100 pairs made. This is the sample right here, the Cardell Dub Rocker. The only person I know that has these is Redman. Um, these are pretty freaking rare. But I, I, I just, I love shoes, man. I could never just own one brand of shoes. I just recently got this. These are so crazy. Ron G, man. The Krangs. But yeah, man, um, I just love sneakers. I have different brands. I've got tons of different brands. My God, I need a pair, but that Bulls Cola, yeah. Oh, man. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know what else to talk about. That's why I was showing shoes. Um, one more time. Let's let's get to this one more time. Um, I want to show you guys the meat and potatoes. Well, it's not even the meat and potatoes of the show because this guy came in here and lit this shit up with his sneaker collection. Well, some of it at least. So there's a shoe Nike's putting out for people that are just... If you're just walking in here now, just do me the solid and hit the thumbs up button. When you hit the thumbs up button... It gets the channel to grow. The more it grows, the more people we have in the live stream, the more interaction, the more jokes crack, the more more fun we have. So um, just hit the thumbs up button. And on the playback, please let me know your favorite sneaker that Foda showed today. And also I want to know on the playback, how do you feel about this shoe hands-free? Just throw it on your feet. You just slip them on and bong. You ready to go. You ready to go. You want to take them off, put your foot behind the heel, bong. Bong. How do y'all feel about this shoe right here releasing, I think, February 15th? And the the prototype, the idea, they used the Roshi run with some tubing. That's how they got the idea of this shoe, like right? when they were trying to figure it out, the designer. I think his name was Tim, I'm pretty sure. I apologize if I got it wrong. So that rubber band right there is what makes it go. And um, I don't know if anyone really has covered this yet, but this is some exciting technology. Something such a it looks like such a simple idea, but a creative idea, right? Let me know what you think of them, hot or not. I like this colorway. That colorway is the winner. That's a that's a fire colorway. Slip your little foot in there, bong. She's ready to rock. <laughs> and this is for men and women. And uh, this will be great for people that are disabled, that may not be able to put shoes on. So if you know someone that's disabled, you should pick them up a pair of these. Find out their size. They'll, I think it would mean so much to them. Like, seriously. Um, I think that you may you may get them very emotional if you brought them a pair um, out of happiness, not, not you know, sadness. Um, and that this is the colorway that, that they showed a lot. Um, it's not the best colorway. Um, this is the colorway that's good, in my opinion. I love this colorway. Um, and then there's one more colorway I'll show you right here with the blue behind the tongue and the red on the midsole. This one, you know, easy to match. So, um, let me know what you think of them. Some people are like, yo, those shoes are for lazy people, man. They, they can't tie their shoe and lazy mother efforts, you know. Let me know how you feel about the whole thing. I do want to know. Yeah, the black is the one to go with, I think. I wonder how much they're going to charge for this tech. Let's see. Oh, my God. Fly Ming. People are telling him to F himself. <laughs> Fly, what up? He said, they not meat and potatoes, but Frankie, Frankie Beans. No, I did not get the graffiti. The the um graffiti eights um how much are the graffiti eights going for on goat let's see let's see how much the graffiti eights i'm gonna be going soon i think um i'm gonna give you a last call for super chats and all of that if you um are interested in that um i heard um frank and beans meat and potatoes i want to eat some food soon But I'm good. 
I'm not like dying. You can see clearly. Okay. So we'll see. I feel like the price of this is just going to go down. So right now for my size, I, I would go up half a size, size 9.5. That's um 232. And then you have to pay the fee and all of that. I have a link to GOAT in the description box if you're looking to purchase any shoes. Use my link because um, they do throw a little kickback on me now. So um, definitely. Now this shoe right here, you could get for a decent price. And I was thinking about getting it. The thing about the shoe, it looks so much like a damn Christmas sneaker to me. Um, so look, the shoe is um, 235 Oh, so they did go up in price, these. Kind of remind me too much of a Christmas shoe. So I'm, I'm, passing, on, I'm passing on that. Um, I'm curious to see how the, look at these, all black LeBron buy new. Oh, six and a half. No wonder it's so cheap. These, these are supposed to come out this year. That's what rumor has it. They are. Look, size nine and a half, 4,000 bucks. Damn. It's crazy. These, I want to come back so badly. These look so good on feet. The prices are insane. They ain't got no cheap LeBrons. <laughs> Where them cheap LeBrons at? <laughs> Where them cheap LeBrons at, bro? <laughs> How much can I get for this? <laughs> I got these still. But the the problem is they've yellowed like crazy on the bottom. I got them right there, actually. This shoe, I, I swear, if I ever am able to get these, uh, this is a dream sh shoe to me. Hardwood Classic. I would love to own this sneaker. I would love to own these. Dream sneaker right there. Oh, my God. Dude, I got my bread eights, but the midsole um, separated on my LeBron eights. So I don't know what glue to use. Is there a glue I could buy at Home Depot that I could just throw in there? Let me know. I heard they are, but we'll see. If they come out, I hope I'm able to get them. I really do. I have an old video with Mayer. Um, this was when Mayer was big. Now he's, you know, he's like slimmed down, you know. Um, it's me and Mayer, and he shows so many shoes. Just search DJ D E L Z DJ Dells and Mayer, and um, you got to watch that video. It's a dope vid. LeBron eight sold out. Look at this, the denim. This was designed by Clark Kent, DJ Clark Kent. They, he called these the James Deans. These, this is another. If they ever released this, oh my God. The 112 packs were crazy. The 1127, I think, is even crazier, though. 1127. Yeah, look at the 1127. These pit, these photos suck. These photos are horrible. No justice the shoe gives. These photos. Horrible. They're sick in person. This looks like shit. Let's see. All right, guys. We're going to get up out of here. Thank you all for tuning in. Pick up one of my sneaker addict t-shirts. Look in the description box below. Don't forget, Crep Protect. Pick some of that cleaner up. Stop buying off these other guys because you got your YouTubers promoting them and cutting checks. Are they not cutting me a check? I'm telling you. Crep Protect is awesome. That's why I wanted, I'm wanted. i doing this. I'm literally promoting it. I hope one day they, they cut me a check for this. But, um, yo, this is the best protector, Crep Protect. 
you spray it on. You can put, look, this guy put ketchup on it. It pours right off. Now, this is to protect the shoe, but they also have a cleaner called the Cure, which is awesome. Also, I'm doing the giveaway, which is a good segue for you to get your ass to go watch this video because I know a lot of you haven't yet. It's linked in the description box. It'll say giveaway front drop sneaker box transformation video. I'll show you them up close because you couldn't buy them right now. Another company through Amazon, Amazon link. I wanted to show you guys my new setup real quickly, a sneak peek. We finally got the boxes in and um, you see it's got this magnetic to keep it shut, which I love. I love these doors. These doors are dope. Versus like the old ones, this like the old school ones, not as dope. This is the move right here. I have it linked in the description. Pumps and Kicks. That's the brand, and it's linked in the description. Way better. So definitely, um, if you're looking to buy them, they're linked in the description. Use my link, and um, if you should enter the giveaway. Everyone should enter the giveaway. Um, three boxes you get for free. So I can't see why um, no one um, would not enter that already. Um, yeah, they should cut you a check. Yeah, I'll be promoted. They they be sending me some nice stuff though from time to time. They send me some free stuff from time to time for me to use because I love the brand. So it's not like they don't do nothing for me. On Christmas, they sent me this big container and I had the cure. So I always have it, you know. And if I run out, I buy it on it. I always go to Amazon because you know Amazon, Amazon Prime. You know, I think everyone's a, a member of Amazon Prime, right? So um, I always head head over to that Amazon Prime and make it happen over there. Um, also, we have the UV light to ID your sneakers to make sure they're not fake. You buy the UV light, light you hit, hit it with it. If you see a bunch of markings all over the shoe, that means it came from the bootleggers. They put invisible like ink on the shoe. So if you're ever questionable about your shoe, a good way to ID it, you buy this UV light that's linked in the description box. Um, it's more toward the bottom of the description and you can hit it up and you'll see um you know a lot of the markings and it'll be a good way for you to id the shoe also for funko pop fans there is um also in the description box the 30 year anniversary um deadpool collector's box so um you may want to go and scoop that up it's pretty sick um it comes with two funko pops and a t-shirt i'm pretty sure and it will be sold out soon so if you're collecting funko you may want to go and look in the description box and cop that i seen j cole sneaker the other day the new one I, I actually think it's a really nice sneaker in person so i threw that also in the description if you're looking to pick that up and that's all i got for today's show guys thank you so much for watching you could be anywhere in the world but you're here with me and i do appreciate that tomorrow uh we may stream in the morning I don't think we're going to stream on the Dell show um, tomorrow morning. Uh, we've been doing the stock thing, but um, um, it was an experiment, and we'll see how that goes. If people ask for it again, then we'll do it. We may stream here in the morning, though, and talk sneakers. We may also stream at the Dell show. So, you know, if there's some breaking news, something crazy happens that's not sneaker-related, we do non-sneaker-related content here at the Dell show. The Dell show. The Dell show. So definitely subscribe to the Dell Show and turn the notifications on. Uh, we have a Patreon, patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. Now's the perfect time to join. When you join, you unlock 130 episodes, and they're crazy episodes. I talk about crazy stories in my life. It is definitely very different than what you get here, and um, it's, it's like not rated. It's just craziness because it's not on YouTube. So check it out. We have so many DJ mixes, so you can stream and listen to some sick mixes. And also, we do giveaways there at the Patreon. It's only $5 a month. And then, if you want to join the membership, you do have access to the shows live. you got to catch them live. Oh, or on the playback, you can. There's a little membership button, join. You get to watch the shows, the exclusive shows every other month. We'll have one this week. And we also have the exclusive emojis with me on in, on fire, me with um, kryptonite, like Star Wars, um, trash can emoji, um, a bunch of stuff. So check all of that out. And um, good night, everyone. Much love. Hit the hit the um, boxes. Hit one of these boxes if you watch on the playback. 
you'll see another video and head over in the description right now go go watch that um that video on the front drop boxes everyone should be entering the giveaway you see jordan in the chat that could be you right there hit that join button but i want you to enter the giveaway shit three of these boxes they could be yours let's get it popping love y'all